All right, so I'm super stoked to cook with you guys tonight. We're gonna be doing this crispy rice salad with shrimp and a side of Thai style grilled chicken. So first off, we wanna get on doing our marinade. So we're gonna be working with lime, kiwi, lemongrass, some coconut milk, and soy sauce. We're gonna season that up with some sugar and chili flake. So first, we're gonna just clean up our kiwi. So just take off the sides and run your knife through. You can also use a vegetable peeler, but I'm just used to, you know, just taking off the sides, the skin of that kiwi. All right, so the kiwi is kind of the unique part of this marinade because this is going to give us the tender meat. It's got a lot of acidity in it, so it's gonna really like break down the muscle of our chicken. So we can just kind of cube it up a little bit like that. And we'll do two for this marinade. And it's just gonna be, since we're just doing like a quick marinade on the chicken, we're gonna really, that's why we're using the kiwi. So it'll be marinating for like 10 minutes tops. And then we'll use this marinade for a glaze. So it'll be uh, acidic and sweet. All right, and you know, for me in a marinade, when I use lime, I just do the whole thing. So I'm gonna just work the same thing with the lime juice. You could just do some lime juice as well, but I blend up the lime. And this is also gonna add some body to it. It's gonna, you know, make it a little thick. So two lime, two kiwi. Take our lemongrass, which is gonna be another punch of uh, acidity. We're just gonna run our blade through. Right. Now, if you don't have a blender, if you don't want to pull your blender out, this is all doable, you know, just by chopping. Um, but the blender is just going to make it a bit easier for us. So, all right, grab all of our product. Okay, our coconut milk is going to add a little bit of creaminess to it. All right. And this is gonna be our salt for the dish. So a good amount of soy sauce, you know, whatever you prefer, but know that we can always add salt at the end. So I, I never like to over season in the marinade because, you know, we're gonna be using this to glaze the chicken. So we can always finish it with a bit of salt if you're worried about that. All right, then a little brown sugar, add a little boost of um, sweetness and we're gonna build this caramelization as we're glazing. So this is a really important part. You know, we got some sweetness with the kiwi, so just, you know, a little goes a long way. And then, depending on how spicy you like it, again, we can always add spice later, um, but this is gonna penetrate the, the chicken as it marinates. All right, so throw it on our blender. Make sure to cover this guy. Now, cooking is, you know, you gotta work with the feeling. So make sure you try all your food as you go. You can always fix, you know, as you're working with it. You know, once you get on the plate, there's no turning back. So make sure to taste your food. All right, so I definitely get coconut, lime. I think it's missing a little bit of salt, so I'm just gonna add another dash of soy sauce. But it's got, it's got a kick of spice, for sure. All right, so let's just blend this up one more time. All right, taste one more time. All right, that's spot on. Cool, so we wanna get on this fast because we wanna get this chicken flavorful. So let's grab our chicken. And I'm gonna grab our rice as well, because that'll be the next step. So, in a good sized pan, enough to submerge this stuff. All right. 
make sure, you know, you could even put a little marinade on the bottom of the pan before you land your chicken in. So it gets on all, all surface area of the chicken. All right. So I'm going to just put this to the side and we'll work with that in a bit. All right. So next step, we're going to be frying our rice. So the rice is like the star of the show here. So the best thing is to use day old rice. You know, you go get Chinese takeout, you have that box of rice in the, in the fridge, you know, you don't know what to do with it. It never tastes great when heating that rice straight up. So this is a great trick. You know, you can transform simple white rice into something super special. So cold rice, you wanna make sure that you're working with cold rice. If you start this recipe with rice that you just cooked that's still warm, it's not gonna turn out good. What happens is you end up with this mushy, you know, it doesn't, doesn't cook right. So the best is, you know, using day old cold rice. Make sure it's cold. All right, so what we wanna do is kind of break this up. This is already pretty much broken up, but you wanna kind of get these individual granules of rice. So make sure you got that all sorted. Now, when working with a fryer, you wanna make sure that you're being safe when doing this. You know, you wanna make sure that it's a high temperature, around 350 using the right oil. You never wanna fry with olive oil because you get kind of this bitter note when, uh, when you get uh, temperature that high on olive oil. So right now we're using a canola oil, uh, grape seed you can use. Um, so when you're transferring this into the fryer, it's gonna pop, it's gonna sizzle, and it's gonna rot, it's, you're gonna see kind of bubbles up. So you wanna work in batches. If I threw this whole thing in there, there's oil everywhere, huge mess, all right? So also, don't grab and put in the fryer. You wanna make sure you use something like a spoon so you, you, you stay safe. We wanna stay safe here. So in batches, I'm gonna test this out. And that's what you wanna hear. All right, so about, let's say like three spoonfuls. You see that pop up there. And you kind of want to work this around. Make sure all these granules don't end up like coming all together, all right? Break it up, all right? So we're going to look for, you know, that golden brown. It's going to continue to cook. So, you know, if you've gone past golden brown and you pull it out, it's going to continue to get that coloration and it's quickly going to get bitter. So we want to get this nice toasty rice, not bitter rice, all right? So once we pull it out, you want to lay it flat, and that's when we'll season with a bit of kosher salt. I always like to have kosher salt rather than that iodized stuff. It's way too salty salt. So using a kosher salt, you have more flexibility with the salt. All right, so we're starting to see this kind of slowly diminish on the bubbles. It's almost there. You know, continue kind of working your spoon through it. Make sure it's not clumping up into one piece. If we were working with that warm rice I was talking to you about, it would all come up into one goopy mess and it would not be good. What we're looking for is that crunch. All right. And the reason that we're doing this in batches is that we don't cool down the oil too fast, you know? Rice in the fridge, it's like an ice cube. When we put it in this oil, it's gonna drop that temperature. That's why we saw the, the rice fall to the bottom of the pan and then rise up. So it's up to temperature, and that's why we just do it in batches. All right. So the reason I really fell in love with this, with this dish is because one of my favorite re restaurants in LA, and they serve this crispy rice dish, which is the first time I ever had it, and I fell in love with it. Now, uh, I then went to Thailand, and I saw crispy rice everywhere, and 
it is insanely good in Thailand. It's good here, but when you have it in Thailand, it's like literally all I ate when I was in Thailand. You have the crunch, and then you have the vinaigrette that goes on it. It's just sweet and spicy and sour, and it's just incredible. All right, now, as I'm working with this, I'm gonna get our pan over here hot, and we're gonna be doing our chicken on here. So, you wanna just like put your hand over it and make sure that you're feeling some residual heat, and that's kinda, you know, a cast iron, it takes a while to heat up. So, get on this early, make sure this is like hot. We can always play with the temperature later on, you know, as I was saying, you got like, uh, ice cube that you're putting on something hot. So it's gonna cool down the cast iron really fast. All right, so we're starting to see these bubbles kind of diminish here. I can almost, I can feel, you know, like putting the spoon on there, I can feel kind of a crunch. So I think we're about there. So make sure, you know, still we see it clumped up a bit, but that's okay. You know, we don't want to just see like this big old clump of rice. So immediately you want to season rather than later because, you know, there's oil on there still. It's going to absorb some of that salt. All right, so let's go in with our next batch. I think we can up it a bit. So I'm going to do like three or four big spoons. But you see there, that oil is cooling, cooling. So, you know, play with the temperature. Cooking is a feeling, you know, if you're just going by the rule book, it's not gonna end, it's, it's just, you need to cook with a feeling and taste your food. All right. All right. So we have this rice, it's, you know, pretty crunchy, crispy, kind of break it up with our fingers at this point, you know, because we want to get these, you know, flavor all absorbed in there. You know, if we have these big chunks, it's you're not going to have that vinaigrette get into all of the rice. All right. You hear that, right? That's crisp. All right, that's seasoned well. Our rice is frying. Cool. So, the seasoning to this is lime juice, garlic, and chili. And my favorite part, fish sauce, which is kind of give it this like funkiness that like Thai food it's just like this back note that you don't know it's there, but it's there, and it just makes every dish fantastic. All right, after, after we fry everything, it's gonna have time to cool down, and we'll get to grilling our chicken. All right, so we've got our crispy rice. It is all broken up. You can hear it, we got, we, we're crispy, we're crispy. All right, next we're gonna grill our chicken. It's been marinating for about 20 minutes and that's all we really need. So we wanna make sure we reserve the marinade. So we got uh, lime juice, kiwi, soy sauce, coconut milk, uh, and chili, and a bit of sh uh, brown sugar, which is gonna give us the caramelization that we want on this chicken. So we look for our pan, you know, we can only keep our hand over it for, you know, maybe like five seconds. So we know our pan is hot. And that's what we want to hear, all right? Already we smell this glaze, you know, caramelizing and smelling right. So again, we keep this glaze here because we're gonna be going back and forth, back and forth. And this is the art of glazing, is we're gonna be cooking on each layer so one glaze is gonna get cooked on, back into the glaze, back on for another layer and layer upon layers of this beautiful glaze. So already we're seeing that chicken, the glaze kind of stick on to the chicken. All right, so in the meantime, as that's cooking, I'm gonna take care of our vinaigrette 
for the crispy rice salad. So limes we have. And you can use a juicer, but um, I just use my hands. Now, good way of doing this to, if there are any seeds, is just to squeeze it over your fingers. You know, that way you catch any pulp or any seed. Same goes for uh, lemons if you're juicing them. All right. And make sure when you, when you shop for limes, you feel them out. You know, you can usually feel if you got a dry lime. And if you ever had a dry lime, it's not very good. And you get like zero juice out of it. So we're looking for about, you know, like three tablespoons of lime juice. You know, we just want enough of this vinaigrette to coat our salad. We don't want to soak it, you know, because we want it to stay crispy. All right, so once we have all of our lime juice, we're gonna add a touch of fish sauce, which is gonna give it a little funkiness, a sweetness, and uh, salty. A little goes a long way, so I'm just gonna put about, I don't know, a tablespoon in there, and a dash of soy sauce. All right. And periodically, you're just kind of taking a look at your chicken. Now, that's perfect. We're looking for grill marks, but we're not finishing the chicken yet. So we don't want to get it like all the way caramelized. We're going to continue caramelizing and cooking it and putting on another layer of glaze. You can smell that coconut milk. You can smell the lime juice. You can see the caramelization happening. So just keep an eye on that. We don't want it to burn. This is about the extent of caramelization that you want. We're going to just build that, those layers and layers of caramelization. So lime juice, fish sauce, soy sauce. Next, we're going to put about two or three garlic cloves in here. Thai chili depending on how spicy you like it. Uh, I'll just start with one for this. Um, you just want to like feel it out. Again, cooking with a feeling is so important because once you put it in there, it's hard to take it out. So best way to chop garlic, we're going to give it a smash. All right. And then you can just run your knife through it. And depending on how garlicky you like your food, you can put in more or less. You know, I grew up, my mom, every recipe that called for garlic, she'd double it right away, double it. And I kind of grew up loving garlic that way. But then when I cook for my wife, she's not, she's not on that tip. So I always, you know, you gotta like cook for, for everyone. So take that into consideration. You know, maybe you got a date. Maybe you don't wanna have that breath. Or maybe, you know, both of you got to have that bread. So you want to get this pretty, pretty finely minced up. You don't want to get like a huge chunk of garlic. So get it to, you know, we call it a brunoise, which is like a very s small, small dice or a hache, which is just like that, just running your knife through it. All right, and then for the Thai chili, very thin slices. And again, I'm gonna run my knife through these because they are smoking hot. And to get one of these slices, it's just gonna like kill your palate. Uh, maybe you like to kill your palate. Maybe you like it spicy. All right. So we'll just start with one and we'll go from there. And I'm just gonna add a touch of brown sugar to this. Give that a stir. Make sure the brown sugar gets all the way dissolved. Hey, 
and taste. Okay, it's, it's, it's hot, it's hot, all right? So I'm, I'm gonna keep it there. I'm a sucker for fish sauce, I absolutely love it. So I want more. I'm cooking for myself, all right? I'm, I want more. That's spot on. All right, so off to the side. Oh yeah, that's spicy. Okay, we're taking a look at our chicken, seeing that good caramelization. We go back into our marinade. All right. Coat all sides, all right? Because even on that side that it's not grilling on, it's got, it got heat on it, you know? It's gonna be glazing it. So back on. Do that skin side down. Always, when you're cooking chicken with skin, you always wanna land on that skin side down first. Because there's nothing worse than soggy chicken skin. You wanna get crispy chicken skin all the way. All right, so that's going. We have our vinaigrette ready. We're gonna start to put together the vegetables for our salad. Now we're gonna be working with uh, tomato, cucumber, and a bit of herbs and some roasted peanuts. Now, you wanna have a balance with all components. So you don't wanna have heavy vegetable or heavy rice. You wanna have a good medley, all right? So we're gonna grab, uh, let's say for this, one tomato, two cucumber. I love these small cucumber. These are called Persian cucumber. Uh, I think they have a good balance of, uh, you know, a little bitterness with that fresh sweetness that you usually get from a, a cucumber. My absolute favorite cucumber is a Japanese variety. So for these, you want to have, you know, a good sized chunk. Um, you don't want to have it too thin because as you get that vinaigrette on it, it's going to start to break it down. You know, the acidity of the lime juice will start to get it soggy. You want everything to be fresh in this, in this salad. Crunchy, fresh, acidic, sweet, all these things that I love with the Asian vibe. All right. So I don't know if this has a name of the cut, but just kind of jagged edge. You know, one side's going to get a little more uh, vinaigrette, you know, soaked into it, the other side is gonna have more of that crunch factor. So for this, about one and a half cucumber, I think is more than enough. And then for our tomato, you know, you gotta make sure you get a good tomato. Uh, I'd, I'd give this about a six out of 10. I think, you know, bottom line, if you go into a farmer's market, you're gonna be able to find an outstanding tomato. But smell, feel, touch, you know, Use your senses when you're, when you're picking the right produce. It all starts there. So we're gonna just do some wedges on the tomato. And the tomato juice, the seeds, are gonna pack some juice, which is gonna help uh, on top of our vinaigrette, you know, um, flavor the salad, all right? So I'm gonna just put them straight into my vinaigrette. I'm gonna stage them there before going and finishing our salad. Again, keeping an eye on your chicken. I can smell it, you know. It's getting nice caramelization. If you have the barbecue outside, work on that. Nothing better than being outside while cooking. And you can find your hot spots on your grill. All right, so we're starting to see you know, these layers build onto themselves. You know, and you see, you know, a bit of black, that's fine. It's good flavor. You know, you want this balance of, you know, there's nothing better, that's, that's why you like to grill on, on your barbecues. You get the little charred bits and just like pop, they're so good. And I'm saving all my chicken skin. That's the side. I'm gonna put another glaze on. Gl 
lays these guys down. You know, this is what's so good about Thai food. You, you got these extreme flavors. You got sweet and spicy, and then you add texture to it. You know, the crunch of this and the, the glaze, the stickiness of this glaze, it's just like it's what I love about Thai food. All right, so we're close to our chicken. Our vegetables are in our marin and our vinaigrette. Our rice is crispy. The last finishing touches to our salad is gonna be just a quick chop on mint and cilantro. And then we're pretty much done. That's an easy dinner and really big, bold flavors that anyone can achieve. I'm rocking on this grill. High heat, smoke. All right. So we're gonna mix our salad in this bowl here. And I like to, you know, serve up platters and then transfer to our, you know, full composed plate. Uh, I think it's a nice way of presenting. You know. Get flames going. Seeing that, and we could just, you know, finish it off with one more glaze. Again, we're building this awesome flavor of the marinade on there. And I'm pretty much out of my marinade, you know? All that is on the chicken, glaze after glaze, getting into all the crevices. And taste your food as you go. I got a little, we call this a chicken oyster. Oh yeah, that's on point. All right, so we have our crispy rice, vegetables in the vinaigrette. We wanna make sure we do this not too in advance. You know, we've done all this work to get this, achieve this crispy rice. And the last thing we do is add this vinaigrette too early. And then we end up with a soggy rice salad, which is the opposite of what we're trying to do. All right. So in with our rice. Our vegetables here. Get them kind of coated with that vinaigrette. All that flavor is starting to go in and the, the tomato juice is starting to seep out. Perfect. Now, mint, cilantro, all staples in Thai food, and then the roasted peanuts. So I'm gonna give it just like a good handful for this size of salad. All right, and then for the mint, I'm just gonna tear it up. I don't need to do much to herbs. You just kinda like tear them up. And it kinda opens up all the essential oils in them. All right, same for the cilantro. I'm just gonna give it a nice tear. All right, boom. And then in with our vegetables, okay. The last thing we do for this salad is our shrimp. So our chicken's pretty much done. I'm gonna use this pan for our, for our shrimp. I'm gonna put it to the side down here. Utilize the front for our, for our shrimp. All right, and we don't need to do much for the shrimp. It's gonna be super fast. So, a bit of salt. I'm gonna use a little grapeseed oil. Oil them up. And straight onto here. These are gonna cook real quick. 
The chicken's about done. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put that to the side onto our platter. Nice glazed up chicken. Get all these nice bits. All that flavor. All right. There, our shrimp is like, it'll probably take about a one minute total. And you just start to see the coloration on it. Start to turn pink. Again, this is gonna be quick. We have tons of flavor on this pan too. That's why I love cooking with cast iron. The more you use it, the more flavor you get. All right. You know, I think I want a larger bowl. Can I get a larger bowl? You know, nothing worse than a small bowl when trying to mix everything well. You wanna have, you know, a pretty big bowl. We can always go back into a smaller bowl for a presentation. Um, but I always have like a giant bowl around, you know? Oh man, hey, thank, thank. Great, all right, so our vinaigrette's in there. It's starting to kind of get into the, all the crevices of that crispy rice. Our shrimp is almost done. All right, we can start to kind of give this guy a, a toss. All right, and then we're gonna plate up over to the side here, yeah? All right. So that's done. All right, shrimp is pretty much done. So land straight into this bowl, and we're gonna give it a quick toss. Can kind of arrange the shrimp on top too once we're done tossing it. All right. Turn the heat off. Boom. All right. Again, we want to try our food as we cook. You hear that crunch? That's bomb. All right, so for our chicken, I'm gonna do slices. All right. Okay. Now, plating up. We're gonna throw our chicken onto the side here. I'm just gonna garnish it with a bit of cilantro. And then for our salad, get a good pile with every component. All right, making sure we get all the peanuts, cucumber, tomato, and just top it off with a shrimp or two. Okay, and then cilantro on there. And then we can just throw like a little bit of lime off to the side. All right, there we go. Thirty minutes, you got yourself an authentic Thai dinner, crispy rice and Thai grilled chicken.